Hello traders, FX Pepco at the here. Today is Wednesday, October 16th, and this is my recap of the top viewed videos of the day. And the pound US dollar came in number three today, so we're going to do a quick recap on the one hour time frame. If you didn't see my full top down analysis on the pound dollar from this morning, make sure you check out the video linked at the end of this video over here. But first, don't forget to check out my website, fxpepcollector.com, if you would like to access my swing trade signals, my daily members only live streams on Zoom and my 34 video trading course all included for only $30 per month. So anyways, yeah, pound dollar. I mean, if you saw my earlier video, you know that I'm definitely still waiting for this break of this area before I'm turning into a buyer. And I just left this Fibonacci on here just to show you something, which is actually probably a little better visible on the 30 minute time frame. So let's uh, make sure that we can see this on the minute time frames and let's jump down to the 30 minute for a second because if you know or you've been watching my videos for a while you know exactly what it is i'm looking for i'm looking for one two three way pullbacks i'm looking for fibonacci bounces and i'm looking for engulfing moves to the downside to trade with the trend on the much higher time frames so there was another perfect entry to go sort on the pound dollar the trend is still down so i mean it might go down and make a new low even if it doesn't if it does end up drifting back up and making another three-way pullback i will go so again on any three-way pullback i see until we get that break of structure preferably on like the four to eight hour time frame to the upside so we do have a few pretty good news events to keep an eye out for. Uh, in a little while we got president lagarde, lagarde from the central bank of europe speaking uh, we also have some Aussie news, the unemployment rate, unemployment change this evening. Uh, tomorrow morning, we got, or tomorrow afternoon, we got uh, interest rate for the euro, which they are planning on lowering another 25 basis points. We got retail sales and core retail sales tomorrow for the U.S. dollar and unemployment claims. And this press conference is definitely something to keep an eye out for also. So finally, some dollar news tomorrow. We really haven't had any dollar news at all this week, so looking forward to that. But... I am all doing nothing but looking for sales on basically all the dollar pairs until the market proves me otherwise. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel with the link down here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.